It appears Secret Service slip up after slip up after slip up proved too much for director Julia Pearson. Pearson resigned Thursday. We are confident and the president is confident that the Department of Homeland Security will take a, a hard look uh, at this situation that will ensure that the United States Secret Service uh, can uh, meet the very high standard uh, of performance that they set for themselves. President Obama has reportedly accepted Pearson's resignation. She resigned just a day after she appeared before the House Oversight Committee and was slammed over lapses in security. Earlier this week, it was revealed the man who allegedly jumped the White House fence, Omar J. Gonzalez, made his way much farther than we previously believed. The officer then engaged Mr. Gonzalez. They crossed the east entrance hall together, made the left turn down the cross hall. They stepped momentarily into the East Room. Another officer rendered aid and he was placed on the ground on the carpet and handcuffed on the cross wall hall just outside of the green room. Then there's Tuesday's incident of Mr. Obama riding an elevator with an armed man who had an arrest record. CNN's Jake Tapper says the White House didn't know about this incident until later and writes this is key to understanding why Pearson is out. Pearson is the second high-profile member of the Obama administration to resign under intense media pressure this year. Eric Shinseki was essentially forced out of his role as Veterans Affairs Secretary in May. The Department of Homeland Security announced Joseph Clancy, formerly special agent in charge of the Presidential Protective Division of the Secret Service, will act as the interim director. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.